All right, here's a test I've done several times at least now, I'm trying to be thorough about it. Uh, but right now I've got the, uh, the same left hand and right hand antennas on the O3, still just the stock, uh, I believe, linears on the goggles. So right now I'm still behind the corner of a building, so you know, pretty much from start to finish right here I've got no line of sight. Um, the DJI reaches its limit of penetration, you know, at a certain point, and probably not too far, and probably right now, I'm, you know, I'm just dropping signal more and more and more. I'm just, I'm not, it's not about me going further and further. I'm just adding more and more obstruction the further out I go here. So I'm going to reach a limit. Right about here is where it starts to get real low. You know, unsure about how far it'll actually go beyond this point. Uh, but that's the thing about it. You know, every extra foot or so I take at this point and the angles that I'm, you know, approaching, I'm basically adding more and more obstructions. You know, and you might reach a point where maybe I took a little bit out and the signal goes up or, you know, add another tree, bush, whatever, you know, it starts dropping even more. So once you get out to like the boundary here, signal is already super low. Um, it's not so much about, oh, how much further can I go? It's how much more are you going to add as far as obstructions? I mean, that's pretty much the name of the game. So, coming out that way, about where I was parked, it's probably like 340 meters. So, I mean, I'm topping out there. And it's not, that's, so it's the thing is, you know, it's hard to say, oh, you know, 340 meters range. It's like, no, nah, that's not how it works. You know, if anything, you need to be quantifying the amount of obstruction that you're adding. Some kind of way, this is not really quantifiable, you know, it's, People talk about trees, buildings, bushes, whatnot, you know, but at the end of the day, this is really the metric that matters. You know, it's not distance, right? Um, coming over here, same thing. I remember with the stock O3s, everything all stock. I really had no problem navigating around here, you know, with that level of penetration. It's just one building, you know, but all these metal cars do make a big difference. So while I can still make it around without losing video, it does drop down so much that I pretty much almost lose it over here using these antennas. So this is the test I'd like to do when I do get more stubbies on the goggles that hopefully will be better matched with the circular polarized antennas I've got on the uh, O3, right? So you can see right there, it got real fuzzy. Still made it out. Never actually blacked out though like I did uh, using two left hands instead of one left and one right. So that's the difference I've noticed. Um, you know, otherwise, still, you know, can make it around here, no big deal. You know, it's, this is not the biggest building I've been around, but I'd say that's, as far as 5.8 and penetration, I think that's not bad, right? If you're flying close range on a drone, maybe, I mean, you could go around quite a bit of concrete and whatnot. Um, you know, you start doing that out at too much of a distance and it might be a problem. So this is about the same results I've typically got running this test. You know, it's been fairly consistent. So by that point, I'm pretty confident that, you know, that's about what I'm always going to see doing this run with those antennas. So right here, I basically went around the corner to where I don't have this building in the line of sight immediately. So this is more or less a straight run all the way till I get, you know, a few hundred meters out and then I start losing line of sight again. So right here, this whole stretch that you could see visible just in a straight line, the signal is not going to drop. You know, it's going to say a, a solid 50 megabits all the way until you lose line of sight. So again, that's the name of the game. And it makes sense. I mean, you know, radio waves, it's not a distance thing. You know, they don't you don't measure in distance. You know, they're they're gonna go to the end of the freaking universe, right? I mean there's no limit on your range. It's about the obstructions that you're putting in there. So in reality, I mean even if you're just flying a super long stretch of open space, I mean this is not just dead space. You got air, you got <laughs> moisture I mean, so it's, the obstructions are all adding up. It literally has nothing to do with range, a sheer distance on its own, right? So still solid signal here, solid signal. Um, and I'm about, I'm about to get up to the point where the obstruction of the angles of the street and all the little trees and then the slight bit of these building corners that I eventually add in, that's what drops my signal down to where I just can't go any further. So if I had pure line of sight this whole entire stretch, 
then I would just be able to keep going. I mean, there's not going to be a limit there. So right here, it's it drops down real low. I kind of stop, settles, pops back up a little bit. You know, so it's liable to go from like 15, 20 megabits all the way down to five or so, real uh, quick. You know, at this point, because again, just these little tiny movements I'm making are adding or removing all types of different obstructions in the line of sight. So on the way back now. So this was about I want to say 430 meters, something like that. So basically, I've added another 100 meters by just coming around the corner of this building that I was originally behind. So again, you got to imagine, you know, if I'm not adding any of these buildings in the way, again, it's just going to keep going and going and going and going. Uh, so when people talk about range, you know, I've been asked that a couple times, you know, max range, you know, what, what to expect and whatnot. Again, it's really hard to answer this question because that's not how it works, right? I mean, there's no quantifiable distance that you're going to have a max of, um, you know, even if you're, even if you're talking about pure line of sight, unless there's some hard distance limit, you know, programmed into the unit by DJI, you know, let's just say it's analog. Analog is going to go forever. You know, everything is going to go forever. But DJI just kind of deals with things, you know, a little bit better. Noise rejection or whatnot, able to, you know, clean up the signal and give you video. Whereas um, analog, you know, it's the same thing with analog. If I had my analog setup and I had line of sight right there it's going to keep going forever right <laughs> so it really seems like 600 meters I've, I've, I've said that before um, at this point I would imagine I mean you're going to go way past 600 meters even on the ground so long as you have line of sight and all these tests I'm trying to do are just sort of trying to get an idea of what type of obstructions and how much of it I can add in the way along that you know, process of traveling or whatever distance I'm trying to go. So that's really what you have to figure out. Um, you know, you can't really avoid it. You have to get a good intimate understanding of obstacles. My car is on the street now, just dipping around the corner of that building. You know, it's, it's adding that extra 100 meters. But if you look at the pure line of sight, that straight line, you can see, you know, the further I go, I'm taking this little angle and I'm adding more and more building obstruction in trees. That's basically just what killed it. It's that simple. This is basically a high school parking lot. Uh, it's a fairly big lot area. I had to come out here at like 5 in the morning. I'm actually super surprised there's not like a whole team of dog walkers out here because that's usually how it goes. Um, I actually got the whole place to myself right now. So this is another interesting little test with this kind of area. So this is actually not as long of a stretch as where I was at before. I think if I was to span the whole length of this entire area, it's going to be maybe 300 meters tops. So it is pretty large, but I mean, I'm not going from point A to point B, really maxing out 300 meters. Uh, but as far as kind of traveling around, you, know, you got this field over here. Um, I'm kind of way off in this vacant lot over to the side, kind of away from the school. And then coming into the school area here, um, I could pretty much, based on the signal I was seeing, go pretty much anywhere. You know, I could just keep going wherever I want around this whole area. I think when I was doing this, I had a problem with the goggles where like my eyes are jacked up. I can't really see too well with them. So after wearing those things for like 10, 15 minutes, my eyes start watering, it gets real blurry, like it's real hard to see. So to be honest, the video is perfectly clear on here. I could go anywhere, no problem, but I was just having a hard time seeing it. So I kind of lose confidence there. You know, like if I'm driving around here, somebody could be damn near right next to me and I might not even see it, right? Or I could... <laughs> tumble in somewhere get turned over get stuck whatever it may be so i didn't really confidently travel too far but you know like that straight away up ahead keep going all the way you know i was hoping that uh field would be the gate on that field would be unlocked or i could find a way in or something like that uh so i just kind of keep strolling around strolling around and I honestly, at one point, I think I realized, like, hey, I don't know if I should be on uh, school property right now. <laughs> so I kind of dipped out. But, um, yeah, I mean, this right here is a is a pretty good example 
of the type of Roman that can be done. I'll say this is very similar to some of the other videos I've seen of guys like roaming around parks and stuff. You get a, a fairly open area like this. You got your car parked where you're not like right up side a large building. You're kind of out in the open. You've got other building obstructions in the way, but they're so spread out. You know, they're only like one story or so, maybe two story tops. It's just the layout of it. It just allows the DJI to navigate in and all around to where pretty much anywhere you go, you're not automatically stacking up too much obstruction, right? So like, you know, obviously this whole lot, doesn't matter where I go, doesn't matter which way I'm looking, you know, I've got the strongest signal I can get no matter what. But you start adding the trees, go out further, start adding the buildings, metalwork, whatever. Once again, that's what does it. So yeah, I remember feeling like, man, I got this whole place to myself, but it feels kind of sketch. Can't really see too well. I was afraid, uh, you know, some dog walkers was going to start pulling in with their cars. But I mean, you know, whatever, no big deal. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'd like to kind of, I would love to explore like a whole, you know, school ground like that one day. I don't really care if it's a school. I wish, you know, it could be anything, but. This is the type of deal, apparently, that's the only possibility, I feel like. You know, it's early, early Sunday morning, super duper early, and no one's going to be there, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, man, I, don't, I really have no idea where to actually find a larger location to kind of drive around. All right, so I should have just kind of kept going around here. I still had pretty strong signal. Uh, but I bet if I start turning corners around buildings or whatnot over here, then yeah, that's when it's going to get sketch. And just on the way back now. So yeah, like where I was just at right there, that entrance, just from a straight line from there all the way back to where my car is down here on the end of this other lot. It's only about like 220 meters or something like that. So not a big deal. Uh, you know, but that whole stretch, you know, I pretty much had strong signal. I could have kept going and going and going. But you can see that's because I've only got these little bit of trees in the way. You know, that, that's not that's not enough to block that signal. And there's the car, boom. 